or those who are raising these issues have an issue in how they have seen some cases being uh, being folded up in court. You know, you see lack of evidence or there wasn't uh, sufficient evidence and the, 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 the cases just die. This could be one of the reasons why Kenyans are raising that concern. Yes, that concern is, uh, is, uh, is of course uh, something which an ordinary person should uh, be able to be worried about. Mm -hmm. But from where I stand, uh, Pentry, is the fact that uh, as a lawyer I could be able to see through the cases. Mm -hmm. Some of the cases were brought to court uh, on a very weak basis on insinuations. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's because maybe the former regime felt that they needed to give the Kenyan something mm. uh, and uh, they just went for whoever they felt was the enemy they went and uh, they wanted to prosecute them mm. for, for the rule of law to work well we actually expect um, a, a, a system whereby the DPP and the DCI are actually very independent, which they were not in the former. Mm. I'm sorry to say that. Mm -hmm. So we, they ended up having uh, enemies or people who reported to be enemies of the state being rounded up and uh, being prosecuted. You remember we had uh, the Friday arrests? Yes. Kamata, which, Kamata Friday. The Kamata, Kamata Friday, which was basically directed to government officials. Uh, if you are, you are deemed like you are not in line with government, mm -hmm. you are working maybe in a parastato and you are rounded up and put inside. That led to uh, some apathy in, in terms of service provision mm -hmm. for, from them, from these particular officials because nobody was willing to sign anything for the government. That's why we ended up with the pending bills which are now disturbing us because you sign anything, you're told, Apa, you've written something. So go inside, you, are, you go inside and explain. Then you are fired. Mm. As you go to explain, you are fired. So that was uh, the basis of most of these cases. Okay. For example, if I can pick one of the cases, uh, of uh, the Ishajumo case in Malindi. Mm. It was an election. Aisha Juma didn't shoot anybody. Mm -hmm. It's the bodyguard who shot somebody. Mm -hmm. But why would Aisha Juma be, uh, be a person also being prosecuted directly? Mm -hmm. And uh, we, I mean, she should be used, used as a witness. Mm -hmm. So eventually, if you go through the process of the court, that case is going to collapse. Mm -hmm. And then they're still going to blame the judiciary. You know, these people keep releasing people who are accused of murder. Mm -hmm. But as, 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 as experts of law, I think it's very important uh, that uh, the, the DPP to be able to look through the cases mm. which is presenting before the court but I think it's because of the regime that was and the, the pressure to work on you know he had been appointed and uh, been told you need to prove yourself okay. so whatever is forwarded to him he was also forwarding it uh, to the judiciary which I think at the end of the day is a big problem from I had issues with it but you know mm. for the public they cannot be able to understand because there's that threshold of a case which you need to have for you to actually present it okay okay